we're live. Hey. 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 Hmm. Should have yeah. drank that water before we went live. Uh, oh, I'm stretched. I'm really you are, stretched. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh well. Don't, do want to try calling you back? Uh, up to you. I mean. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Okay, let's try that. I'm uh, I'm wide again, huh? Uh, let's see. Here, I'll fix it. Entertain the entertain the crowd while I do this. Uh, you guys want to see a card trick? No, I can't really do card tricks. It's our day off, but we have a reason to be here, and it's really it's a good one. I actually just got word about this last night. That's why you guys who are following us regularly probably didn't see this on our schedule. There we go. We got a we got a sh tap on the shoulder. From our good friend Jesse from the Go Show, uh, and he says, "Hey, you want to know something cool? You want to? Are you guys working tomorrow?" I said, "No, we're not." <laughs> and he was like, "You guys should be." I was like, "Why?" And uh, he says, "Yeah, do you guys want to see the new version of DE Cash?" I was like, "Yeah, that, what does that have to do with working?" And he says, "Well, we want to do a pro exhibition match." Uh, <laughs> yeah, nice logo. I like ours too. Oh, yours is nice too, Spangler. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so he's like, yeah, Volcano's thinking about putting together a little bit of a pro match, and he thought it'd be cool if you guys casted it, and we were like, uh, okay, fine, just kidding, we were super pumped about this. Yeah. Uh, so, what do we know? We know that we need to get give you guys links, so you guys can help us upvote. Uh, Clay was going to help us post a little bit of a nice uh, a Reddit post here, so you guys can bump that. I'll post... How about I do the ESEA one, and you guys can bump that. Good call. Reddit is posted. I actually need to bump ESEA as well. I'm going to go find that fixation something, rather. Is it gone? What, the uh, ESEA? Uh, ESEA cycles so quickly sometimes. I just uh, bumped it, so it should show up now. Oh. I don't see it, but if you want to paste... Ah, yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. Nice. Alright, I'm going to put, put that right in the chat window. You take that there. Bump the... Oh, hey, Moxie. I actually wanted to get her in this game, but she was all, like, pretending to be Korean in StarCraft. If you guys have ever heard... Oh, yeah, change your title. I am. <laughs> this, this is what happens when we have unprepared shows where we have to do just surprise... Uh, Surprise casts that are unprepared without a pre-show, pre-production, or anything like that. We just fly by the seat of our pants and we make mistakes like that. But thankfully, we have friends like you who can fix that for us. Hey, uh, have you ever heard Moxie's sign-off at the end of her streams? Uh, no. She goes through, like, the world's languages on the, of how to say Oh, goodbye. actually, yeah, I did. I caught it the other I, night. Very, yeah. uh, it's very cool. It's very cultural. It's very inclusive and fun. And it's like a it's a memorable sign off, but uh, she she gets to Korean, and oh my god, <laughs> I uh, I I I got it just like I got it just because like I thought about it. I was like, what language is that? And then if you if you must know, like goodbye in Korean is actually like four words, but she's managed to compile it into two words that sounds something like the four words and uh we're gonna have to have a linguistics class just to just to get that right what's it i need we need to do um did she say did she say like all the european ones because those ones are fun too hey welcome go show i hope you guys are telling your friends to come watch for those of you who are joining us and you uh starry said it's you know starry's um Sorry's right because I got it right. Like it's not like you're somebody who's never said it before and you completely butchered it. Because if I, if you did butcher it, then I would have never understood it. But it like surprised me, and uh, now I'm like I gotta I gotta get some tutoring time with her. Welcome NRM. Welcome. Like casting your, casting your match last week. That was a lot of fun. We're coming up on those um, ESEA and SIBO playoffs. We'll be covering those, and hopefully you'll be one of those teams that's going to be on our streams. Is our title changed? I should probably refresh just as Jack. Yes, it is. All right. So do you guys know why you're here? I mean, you could look at the title and it would be like, hey, I know why I'm here. But uh, Clay, do you know why we're here? <laughs> yeah, I do know why we're here. We're here to see the new cash by Volcano and FMP1 per exhibition going on soon. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can Bridge think of... Lobby. I can couple of names. I, I don't like being the guy to name drop, but a couple of reasons to watch. It's not just going to be cash because you know cash. It's going to be cash because you know the players on cash. So we have Volcano and Pex and who else from Dynamic? Probably those two from Dynamic. I know probably nothing. Uh, maybe Hiko. Uh, I'm trying to think of Quantic guys. Skadoodle was was in there just a little bit ago. There's a good chance that you're gonna you guys are you guys are gonna see a good new map, but you're also gonna see good shooting. Luckily, it's not us because if we invited our friends to play, it would just be like unbearably hard. <laughs> so this match brought to you by our partners, the TV. The Go Show and Fixation TV have partnered together to bring you guys as much freaking Counter Strike content as possible. We're literally the living embodiment clay of. Uh, of North American Counter Strike revival, don't you think? We're just like the entrepreneurial spirit that we uh, that we <laughs> that we uh, set to promote. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, those guys at the Go Show, very, very, very driven, motivated. They're hey, now... War Owl's here. Oh, hey, War Owl, welcome back. Hey, War Owl, who uh, was not on the live. Uh, are you guys from Source or 1.6? We're from Beta 4, Beta 5, 6, 1.6, 1.5, I don't know, 4.8. 1.3. 4.8 is not a freaking version. Source, Global Offensive, we're from everywhere. We've literally been around for forever. Yeah, so a little plug for War Owl. He who is not typically your live streamer has, uh, has entered the realm at, as recently as the Reddit Cup, dominated everybody. We all fell in love with his voice all over again, and uh, now that we can chat while, with him while he's live, even better, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, too bad he's not in here talking to us, serenading everyone with his voice, though. Yeah, well, it's probably for the best, because if he was in this call with us and he was talking, we would just go quiet and just listen. Yep. I imagine if, like, <laughs> if you could go back in time and listen to, like... Uh, to like great speakers like Martin Luther King and the mm. Buddha and Jesus of Nazareth or Jesus Christ like maybe maybe if the Buddha opened his mouth he would sound like Red Eye and maybe if Jesus opened his mouth it would sound a little bit like War Owl oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that that's called man love. Let's uh let's connect to the Go TV because I'm under the impression that it's all working, everything is all gravy. Let's. All right, we'll we'll be right back, guys. See you in a sec after the jump. Tell your friends. Magic tricks. Let me confirm with the players on when we're gonna go live. I'll be uh, I'll be right back with everybody. We'll do. We got uh, nice. We got Sunman, Dizaman, and Skadoodle in here. Those are some of the pros we're gonna be seeing today. You want to see a quick zoom around the map? I'll do that. Almost too much of a teaser to just fly around the map and give away every point. But uh, yeah, if you guys take a, just a glancing look at it, it's gorgeous. So. We have a, uh, a special guest from GoTV that we're going to be bringing in in just a moment. I uh, hope Jesse's out there because if he's, uh, if he's not, then this will be a weird, weird transition, right? It will be. So, I am uh, converting here. Let's, let's bring him in. Are you, are you bringing him into Skype or Mumble? We are going to use his Mumble because that's the mode of communication that he's chosen to go with. Okay. I'll see you in there. On the F end. Alrighty. Clay, can you hear me? Unmugged. 
Yes, I can. All right, welcome. And, and uh, we have our special guest here. This is Frouche, otherwise Jesse from Go TV. Not Go TV, the Go Show the TV. <laughs> I always hear the end of that. Uh, that I always hear the end of that tagline because like go tv is such a, a typical thing to say for us because we need to use it every day as a tool that when we have to say the go show dot tv it just all blends together but because you know your product much better than mine and you know its name much better than mine let everybody know who you are what you do and what your organization's about for sure um well i'm frush from the go show um i am the founder of the go show uh, my right hand is uh solitude which i'm sure you guys have heard of him as well um, what we do is we have a uh, free product that we provide. It's just guides and videos and tutorials for the newer players trying to get into competitive Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And I heard that there is a uh, a recent content sort of revamp that's going to be enable players to contribute their knowledge to your database. <clears throat> Absolutely. So. We just kind of uh, revamped the website, I guess you could say. Um, if you have a guide or a tutorial um, that is written out or in video format, you can submit it on our website, and you can actually submit it at thegoshow.tv slash submit your guide, and I'll put that in the chat in a minute here. But you can submit your guide that you have, and we'll look over it, and we'll put our stamp of approval on it, and then uh, we will link to your social media, like your Twitter and your Steam uh, community page and things like that so that you can get recognized for the work that you've done on that um, and also get more visibility within the community so people can see uh, your guide and, and get that information. Okay, question Professor Frush. I have like like 30 guides. What kind of guides do you like? I have smoke guides, I have timing and counter guides, I have like how to hold angle guides, I have how to control an M4 guide. What, do you, what are you looking for? Uh, everything? Everything. Mother of God. <laughs> nice. So, you are uh, are developing a bunch a bunch of new content. I've been watching it, been watching the steady growth of your site. The traffic has been increasing, and part of your offering is video content. Do you have anything new in the in the video space coming toward us? We do. The question is, am I allowed to talk about that? Um. Yeah. No. So. <clears throat> To answer that question, we're working on a bunch of new videos right now. Um, we brought on some new guys um, from the Reddit, uh, sorry, subreddit, Global Offensive. And we're working on a bunch of new um, videos with uh, our suggestions for the Valve developers, as well as a uh, kind of sports center feel for the ESEA invite guys and some of the pro teams out there. Hmm. All right. Uh... I, I have to ask, if uh, if all this content I is coming, how when can we expect it? Because it sounds great, like I want it now. <laughs> um, uh, a couple of weeks. I would say give us two weeks. All right. So let's let's talk about the. I don't want to pressure you too much on dates, but let's talk about uh, what we're doing today. What are we looking at? Have you played it before? What are your thoughts? I have played it before. This is a I guess you want to say revamp or a rehash of cash. So they took the they took the original cash that Volcano had created for Global Offensive, and um, I, I don't know. I assume that most of the people that are on the Global Offensive subreddit know who FM Pwn is or FMP1, however you want to say it. He I've created said FMP1. Is it FM Pwn? He I asked him and he said it's either. Oh okay. <laughs> um, so he created De Gwalior. Um, which was one of the maps that was in the SIVO contest. And he also created uh, CS Museum, um, which, was, which is in the uh, Operation Payback. Love that map. Yeah. And so he, he has a real talent for making like really, really good looking maps. And so um, what he did was he contacted Sal Volcano, and he said, let's, let's work on this. Let's, uh, let's make it look as, you know, as good as we can. And so this is, this is the product of it. It's not released yet. It should be released in the next couple of days. Um, but uh, this, this is it. I'm excited. I see, I see a Solitude sneaking into this roster. Is he participating? I don't believe he is. I think he's just there to, to make sure things run smoothly. All right. So do you have in 
in maybe as as few words as possible a uh, a thought on how this map compares to a uh, a previous version of this map, perhaps the regular version of Cache. Well, there's quite a few changes. Um, I, I guess I guess I don't have one word that's going to describe the differences between these two. Um, there are quite a few differences, and they're not just visual. If you, you can look on the stream, actually, what I'm watching right now is probably delayed from what you're watching, but um, you can see that he uh, that Dizman just went up into B, and there was no ladder there. He just went up a ramp. So things have changed that are not just visual on this map. Obstacles and boxes, headshot boxes have been changed. Headshot and, boxes uh, have been removed. Yes. Yeah, I've noticed. I actually, Clay, are you? Uh, are yeah, you I'm here. No, I mean, are you scanning the map? Do you remember a couple of the uh, the changes that we went through today? We'll point them out during the match, but a couple of them, even though like the map has been mostly faithfully restored, a couple of changes are pretty significant. Yeah, uh, one in particular that I'm looking at right now is uh, headshot box in Checkers Room has been taken out, not taken out, but made so it's not a headshot box anymore. It wasn't it wasn't a headshot box, but you could it it became a headshot box if you were looking from the vent. Yeah, and then also there's a headshot box over at uh, A that got taken out. If you actually want to fly over to uh, to the A bomb site. Yeah, there's a there's a pillar now and no box. Yep. Yeah, that headshot box is gone as well. Also, I like this. Look at the big box by the A main entrance. If you could turn around for just a moment here, there's a there's a full on commit that you have to have if you're a CT here because if you commit to trying to drive that headshot at the entrance, you're stuck. You're really, really stuck. Yeah, right here, where you exactly. spiel to. Yep. Yeah. Where you spiel just jump off. Now you're just stuck there. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't quite. Uh, do the timing, but did the squeaky door just open like a tad bit faster than it used to? Uh, I am not sure on that one. I don't know if Fruish can confirm. Like, it looks about the same to me. Oh, I, I can confirm it makes the same noise. So anyone who's, uh, you know, likes to preserve those types of things, don't worry about it. Squeaky sounds the same, my friend. We have a. Um... A viewer contribution here is from Dustmered himself saying, I sent a bunch of guides to the GoShow.TV for smokes and stuff to help them bolster their library. Fixation TV will also be contributing a number of uh, content materials for you. I think I think everybody's really excited. I think, you know, what this is kind of modeled after, if I if I can just sort of give my opinion here, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but it's it's almost like you're you're creating the library of knowledge that other esports have like StarCraft 2 and League of Legends making it more of a uh, of a researchable more of a uh, almost a a data and metric driven sort of game that you can study like a like a true discipline yeah absolutely like obviously we're not as big as team liquid or something like that but we we want to get to that point where we have a centralized uh, location for for information for guides for people trying to it, you know at all different levels trying to get Solitude into competitive play channel. for Counter Strike. Solitude is recording. What's up? Just letting you know well, I'm about to go live. Thank you, Solitude. I think that means that we You're are welcome. drawn to the conclusion of this uh, interview. We should uh, hop Solitude back to our standard to audio codex. What do you think, Clay? Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm back. Are you back? Yes, I am. We're getting word that we're about to go live. Of course, you know that you Bruce are watching Fixation TV. I am Cotton. My partner is Klops. Thank you so much for joining us. It's uh, it's our day off, but we don't even care. We don't even care because we have a brand new DE cache for you. When I say brand new, I don't necessarily mean it's different. It's It plays very, very much the same. It just looks gorgeous. Hmm. Right? It does. I heard uh, incredulity in your voice. Well, no, I'm, I, cause I'm out. going through the map and I'm getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of chop here. Is it the Go TV? No, it might be this. Uh... Well, it's all right. I want to lower the FPS a little bit on the stream. What are we currently at? Forty-five. Yeah. Yeah. 45 or 50 around there. We'll leave it. We have plenty of people connected, and we don't want to confuse them at all. You guys. Are, uh, are watching a pro exhibition match. Let's pull up the overhead map here, Clay. 
take a look at how everything is the same, give, make sure everybody knows that the, the dimensions of the map re remain the same, and then afterwards, let's pull up the, uh, the score tab and show you the rosters from our exhibition. What do you think? All right, let's do it. Representatives from everywhere. Block, Frost, Hiko, oh, <laughs> Rare Forms, Amir, Kyer, Skadoodle, uh, nothing. Dizzy Man, Pex, and Volcano. Pex and Volcano, of course, teammates. Sunman, the uh, bane of old 3D. Now the bane of old 3D. Yeah. I wonder if those guys get along. If I had a rivalry going for that long, well, I guess it's more dramatic for like maybe SK. But uh, would I'm I sure would they I get, get along? Fine. <laughs> would I still get along with uh, <laughs> with old rivals? Huh? I said, would I get along with old rivals? You know what? I hope they should turn off show impact because that would be bad for the actual gameplay. I'm sure they will. I think they still have no clip on in fact, so I mean. Yeah. We've done plugs for everything, haven't we? We're about to go live. I will can we shove any any shameless like advertisements in before we just do this right now? Pantene Pro V, great for your hair. <laughs> yeah. Jamba Juice, great for your health. Uh, 24 hour fitness, great for everything, everything regarding your physical health. Fixation TV, great for your need for esports. Yeah, great for your casting needs. C bar is going up. That means Counter Strike to be followed soon. You guys, of course, if I repeat myself, forgive me. That will be the last time because this is Fixation TV. I am Cotton. My partner is Klops. We're going live. This is a pro exhibition match. First time you're ever seeing the brand new cash by Volcano. And FMP own, FM Pwn, or FMP1? It's FMP1 for me, at least. Let's take a look at our rosters and remind everybody who's playing and uh, get underway with the pistol round. So, here we go. Let's take a look at the overhead map because, you know what, for, uh, for exhibition matches, I'm pretty sure you're going to see pretty standard splits. Unless Glock disagrees with me and Skadoodle wants to double up at mid, but of course it's going to be a full on B rush. Unless they slow down, let's take a look. The entry made. They all stopped in the door. Hopefully to get out of the doorway. That's a one-to-one -one trade. One left in the back of the bomb site. Take a look at the front of the bomb site. If I can uh, remind everybody, there's a dip there. There's a little bit of a. Um, let's take a look at the toward the end of the round. If anything fruitful happens here, we can keep track of that. Two go down. The last man, our number five man, Skadoodles, our clutch man. He gets killed. Take a look at that uh, that heaven area now. A ramp, not a ladder. Gives a little bit more escapability. Doesn't trap the man in if you get spammed with grenades. I, I used to hate that because if you get if you if you make any kind of noise up there, you're trapped when the nades come in. Yeah, just instantly all terrorists turn and send the nades up. Alright, and our terrorist team takes the first pistol around and they're moving into SMGs here. Let's see what our CTs are going to do here and we're still seeing the double up on mid it looks like as, oh, Glocketeer takes a headshot to the face. That's wow. a, interesting to say. <laughs> <laughs> And here we go. We got one CT playing in the checkers room, one in the B site standard. Middle is controlled by the terrorists. Where are they going to go? Let's see. Looks like they're choosing to push through here towards A and swarm onto that site. We got Hiko in the site taking one down. Can he get a second one? He does. Oh, but he gets flanked for Sunman, and here's Volcano coming to help him. And they have the site now. They're going to get the bomb down. Frost, the only one left. Let's go to him and see if he can clutch this. You know, I noticed a bunch of these, uh, uh never mind, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it after this. I noticed a bunch of the objects in Bombsite A are now covered by either sheets of light concrete or mm. thick wood. I wonder if that contributes to, uh, well, I doubt it's contributing to piercing because they're up against solid objects, but it helps illuminate people, right? If you're, if you're a solid color, for, for instance, counter terrorists using like all sorts of Marpat camo or Greek green camo I think it is for this map and yeah. you put yourself up against that object the white background make you makes you a very stark silhouette easy to see a common theme in recent valve maps is putting bland or uh, completely bleached backgrounds behind players at critical encounter points to let them see a little bit easier we have a couple of more trades here the terrorists doing of course what you would expect them to do in the first three rounds if they won the pistol round ow skadoodle Gets uh gets hit with the pick the last one. <laughs> Pex gets caught with his last bullet. He couldn't get to kill that touchdown. Nave brought to you by TD.GameCom. Um, <laughs> Pex. Yeah, I. The new Brett Favre. I noticed a theme here. 
and I, I'm wondering if if uh, if FMP1 and, and Volcano did that sort of thematically to sort of promote this in Valve's eyes. Hey, we can see the changes that you're making. We want to conform a little bit and make this more appealing to you. So maybe that this could even be adopted as an official map. Who knows? Yeah, hopefully, as we see Skadoodle picking up a knob here on the fourth round. But yeah, as we know, you know, Valve likes to have their own maps. So hopefully we'll see something good here from the community and maybe they'll pick it up. I would hope so, at least. And we got Glocketeer going down by Volcano in mid. And the Terrace gain control middle once again. Where are they going to go? Uh, looks like they're leaning towards possibly the B site here. They're actually just taking their time trying to pick the last one in mid. They take a mirror down. And it's now 3 versus 5 here on the fourth round. There's a man coming in the vents. And he is going to meet up with Frost. That's Volcano taking him down. And now they have complete control over B. We got one rotating in the CT side. And nothing gets the kill on the Hiko in B in A. Sorry. And the ball's going down in B. Skadoodle the only left with the op in the new heaven area. But he is getting taken down. And he's going to get flanked right here. There is the kill. That is round number four for the terrorists. You know, I wonder if I wonder if that new heaven area will drive players to be a little bit more aggressive because there's a little bit of escapability there. You can mm -hmm. kind of just duck in and out, strafing in and out, instead of having to commit to a full-on ladder. And you can sort of turn around. But of course, the the danger is is that if you get flanked, there's no there's no floor between you and your enemies. They'll just they'll completely see your back. So it's a gun round. Let's pull up the overhead map and take a look at the money. Everybody's bought out, of course. You know how the dynamic works with the counter terrace. If they lose this round, they'll be it's in bad shape. And it's a full, it's a, oh, it's a save round for the CTs. What the heck? I, uh, I was talking a little bit too much. They still have their money intact. And they are moved out of bombsite B, by the way. This, this actual unconventional hold is one into the vent at checkers, one in B main. All the terrorists are stuck kind of in that weird space at checkers and B main. But uh, it... It's everybody's just kind of stuck. They don't really, they don't really understand why they're being flanked. How come nobody's holding the site? It's just, uh, it's a weird sort of, sort of round. But Skadoodle knocks one out. He's got an AWP right in front of him. He can't really reach it, or I don't even know if he saw it. There's one in checkers. He sees one in B main, and if he can clutch this, he can get that one headshot. Not, not possible today. Pex is that shot. I was gonna say that uh, that you can be a little bit more courageous at the mm -hmm. the rafter slash former ladder slash now wooden ramp thing. Yeah. Easier to get in and out. You don't have to worry about getting caught as much. So yeah, you definitely can. And we move on to the sixth round gun round here. And let's see, did Skadoodle pick up an op? I saw someone pick it up. I think it might have been Frost, though. Let's pull up the overhead map, see what the terrorists are going to be doing. And they're going to be working middle again, as they have been so far this round. But there's Skadoodle with the M4, picking up a nice kill. Frost coming in with the op. He sees the one. Oh, nice shot there on the boosted player. And Sunman, 15 health. He retreats. It is now 3 versus 5 in favor of the CTs here. Let's see what the terrorists are going to do to adapt here. And there goes another op shot by Frost. They're just shutting this middle down. Hey, if they, if they get that first round and get on the board, that's a start, right? Because they are off to a bit of a rough start. It is. As we, as we know, it's slightly T-sided map here. Our 7-man Volcano, the Clutch Man, 15 health. Probably not going to be able to do much considering he has the bomb. My thought, Clay, while we wait for this round to draw to its conclusion and Sunman to miss those shots, yeah, he gets it. <laughs> uh, I was I was gonna say, wouldn't it be interesting if if they incorporated the new movement values into this server? Wouldn't it have been fun if we if oh so for um, let, me, let me give you guys a <laughs> uh, that... lesson. Uh, so in the last two days, HLTV.org ran this news story that uh, Andy SEA, by the way, ran this news story that. Uh, two community users, and their names are escaping me right now, uh, created movement values that sort of better mimicked what we are no more accustomed to in terms of uh, in terms of peaking and strafing and uh, movement speed and acceleration, to mimic a little bit what uh, what 1.6 did and just what we kind of expect Counter Strike to be a little bit slower, a little bit more tactical, and it it, it, it drew so much interest from from popular responses that uh, that Valve took a look at it. They liked it. They messaged them and said, "Hey, we like what we're doing. Like, try to get a little bit more of a sample size to see whether or not this is worth investing in, to see whether or not we should uh, take a look at it." And uh, what what a, what a nice platform it would have been today to get these uh, these ten pros in front of the movement values, playing with that that new speed on a new map. I think that would have been fantastic. It would have been, but instead we get new cash, and that's, I like that, it's good enough. And here we go. We had 
A lot of trades going down here. Sunman the only one left. It is his clutch opportunity, but the bomb's going to get defused before he can do anything about it, and he gets taken out as well by Amir, and that's round number two for the counter-terrorists. Breakable doors, a request, <laughs> a request by our viewership. We want breakable doors, specifically probably that squeaky door at A, maybe 5-2 in favor of, uh, let's just make up a team name here, Team Volcano. And uh, the other team will be uh, Team Hiko. I was gonna see who you're gonna who you're gonna favor right there. I l I mean I know you're a favor. You're you always favor the offer, so you can't pick Skadoodle. I wouldn't let you pick Skadoodle because that name's just too hard to say. And Hiko is currently the top frag leader in that one. Yeah, let's uh let's let's take a look at the split and actually talk a little bit about Counter Strike. We're in a two on two typical split. Every terrorist is in your uh, your typical. Your, your typical mid area. Actually, I thought they were going to do a, a split hold to A, and uh, Volcano cleaning up two here actually gets a complete entry into B. If he gets into B, he gets, oh my god, he's going to get the full rotate uh, from Hiko and Skadoodle and Glocketeer and Glock, who's, uh, who are coming through spawn. Remember, when you rotate in cash, it's a little bit of a hype. It takes a little bit of time. That bomb plant is very, very possible. Our number, uh, our number nine and zero man, nothing, and Volcano are our clutch people. So, Retakes. Are they the same? Yeah, the vent works the same. The B main entrance from the CT side works the same. The one difference, of course, is nothing hits a headshot here and gets another one. That's a double for him to end around. I was going to say that uh, you can you can pretty much treat the entire map the same. Everybody who's worrying about major changes, oh no, this is going to end up like another train, another mirage, don't touch my map. You don't have anything to worry about. It works. The timing's the same. It's just... Uh, the map has been beautified, and very and very few changes have happened to the the overall game. There are a couple of good balancing changes that we'll point out later later on in the cast. Yeah, and it runs great. I mean, when we did the run through earlier, I didn't have any FPS problems. The only thing I'm noticing right now is streaming, but I mean that's slightly different issue altogether. And we are moving into the ninth round here. It is save round for the counter terrorists once again, so this should be a relatively easy round for Team Volcano as he meets up with, oh, that was Amir, and he <laughs> goes down, sorry, I got my mumble overlay on the top right, so it's hard for me to see who goes down, and Glock a tier oh, with the dig onto Volcano, and it is now 3 versus 4. Was that 1 dig? It was not a 1 dig. Oh. <laughs> I would have screamed in excitement for the 1 dig, you know I do. And you scream? Yeah. One digs? Always. Nothing with an AK. Picks up kill there. Oh, that's a triple. No, it's a quad. Wow, I missed that first one. He gets a he gets a headshot. I think that was just the the bare bare edge of the hearing uh, hearing range from from dumpster to the far end of the mid door. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Seven two for the terrorists. Full on buys. Let's take a look at the money situation and give you guys a little bit of a of actual counter strike casting here. It's all in for the counter terrorists. Remember now if they lose this round that they'll be going definitely to an eco. They're going to a 1-2-2 two, two split. That means that they're going to double up with the A connector and try to hold mid a little bit tougher to make sure that the the, uh, the typical mid overload that the terrorists are using right now. Remember they're using the mid entrance, the mid boost to, to overload mid and kill. Ro oh wow, Glock is here with his star <laughs> down three. That's a triple. Glock is uh, Glock toting that auto sniper pretty much surprised everybody. They doubled up and they've been doubling up with rifles so they were willing to charge them and sort of challenge their ability to bite them. The, wow, nothing gets the one tap all the way across the map. That's enough to knock him out. But, you know, a triple for the round is a good enough contribution on his part. Um, I think as, as a pug, you know, you, they're not going to have too many organized strats here, but there seems to be a pattern that Team, uh, Team Volcano is really, really bent on mid control right now. Yeah, well, mid control is important on this map, so why not go for it as the CT's pick up that round and they don't have to save here so that was exactly what they needed here to get caught up here seven to three now at team volcano versus team hiko as brandon shows and once again seeing a concentration here on mid as one oh wow sorry as one is actually working towards the B, actually three, but they're all going towards B now. Here we go, Frost with the op on the defense. Volcano takes out Amir, and now Frost is the only one left in the site as they're getting to rotate from mid. He takes one down, two down. Ooh, nice shot there. Ooh. Can he get the third? Oh, and there's Glocketeer with the, I'm sorry, with the auto snipe coming to help his teammates. Is it one of those giveaway days, Client, you think? If you want it to be one of those giveaway days. It could be. Let's stick around at the end of this to do a giveaway for those people who want free stuff. It's 4-7.
pretty pretty evened up. Considering that the counter-terrorists have had their money suppressed for a while, they're actually responding well and getting the rounds that they need. Uh, the little bit of a T advantage here is it's only three rounds. It's you know they if they stop it here, it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty even split. Let's take a look at the money situation again. Of course, it's a double scope look. It's a one op, one scar, or sig, or auto sniper, whatever you want to call it. Look and again, look at the theme. You know, one dumpster and probably one holding towards squeaky or A main, but it's 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 a delay hold mid. And the emphasis here at mid is sort of reflective of how the entire community treats this map. It's it's brutally important to uh, to cover this because of course when you when you make your entry frag and you have trust in your entry, that rotate across from cash typically comes through mid. Frost just misses a point blank shot, hits another one and nobody looks for him. Use your sound a little bit guys. They, oh, uh, man. <laughs> The cutoffs, you know, you're hiking across the map for cash. It's a, it's a, it's a long, open straightaway. You, you're like literally just huffing and puffing until some, some terrorist steps out and just drills you where you weren't expecting it. Absolutely agree here, and we're moving into the 13th round. It is 7-5, still Team Volcano over Team Hiko. If the terrorists don't win this round or get a bomb plant, they're going to be looking at another save round, so they need to get some shots off here as we see a boost going up onto middle and two in the B area, distracting. Nice shot by Dizaman, takes one down in mid, and here we go, Amir and Frost both in the checkers room trying to take down the Volcano. He goes down. And Frost at three health. He took a lot of damage from that exchange. And here we go. And they're pushing, getting brave. He goes down. That is still two kills. And it is three versus two now. Hiko getting one. And Glock tier in the heaven with the auto sniper. Bomb is down in the B side, so the terrorists have to commit to this or save their weapons. Little critique about Kyer's peak right there. He kind of left Frost to die without peeking himself. Mm -hmm. And I know that they're not teammates, and it's just like, well, you know, it's a pug. But if you hear somebody shooting and they've fully committed to spraying them down, at least come out and help and maybe try to pick up the triple. Yeah, I definitely agree. Glocketeer, the only one left in a 1v2 with the auto sniper. He is going to go for this. But he cannot convert it, and Pex takes him down. That's another round for the terrorist. Exactly what they needed to avoid that save. And let's take a look at the money. CT's right, 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 right. Still yeah. looking good. Pretty good. It's um, well, just good enough. The counter terrorists, of course, need to uh, need to seal this up. They're going to get a couple more opportunities here, and they still have the money to field the ops that they want. I was uh, I actually should because everybody wants to hear this. Point out a couple of the changes here. Look at this boost onto mm -hmm. onto the the boost box now. It's not a double jump. It reduces the the time, the drag time to get somebody up into a firing position and it encourages somebody to gunfight a little bit better. You could backpedal if you want, you know, we don't encourage backpedaling. You could backpedal if you want to reduce your your profile while you're shooting. Let's take a look here. Remember this I don't know if this is true, but that spool seems to be scooted just up a little bit to give you give the terrorists more of a, a profile of the man that they're shooting for. I'll take that one in the B main. One traded out for Kyer. Oh no, excuse me, that's a two out and it's three three for, for both teams. I was gonna say that the, the gap here, you can't really see it on nothing screen, but if on the left there's a little bit of a trench you could hide in and you can head peek somebody or or just completely hide if you chose to. Uh a lot of a lot of nice changes here. No railing left. You could you could descend into the site very quickly. As Skadoodle gets taken out, I, I you know what? I for the the career offers here, Skadoodle Frost, they're missing a lot of shots. Uh, Frost is making making good shots. I, I think that was the first round that we've seen Skadoodle with an off actually. Uh, I I I'm I'm gonna get. I think that might have been the second or third. Okay. And we are on the last round here. Terrorists have their weapons. I don't think the CTs were able to do a full buy. Let's take a look. All I see is nades. Hiko has an M4. Yeah. And we're seeing a little bit of a micro buy here from the CTs, unfortunately. So this is going to be a tough round for them. It is 9 to 5, Team Volcano over Team Hiko. And we're seeing some action over in the B halls here as Amir gets taken out by nothing and Volcano takes out Frost. The B site is not open as we had early rotates here from the CT. Skadoodle from the vents taking out nothing. Here we go. It is Dizaman. And now Sunman with the flank here into the A site. Could not convert that kill in middle. He, him, and Pex are the only two left on the terrorist side, as they're, and they're going to get the spawn down plan to beat uh, A, actually, sorry. A couple of ugly shots from Sunman there. He needed to aim a little bit higher to get the man at the white and the man at the A connector. You need to boost on the lamps. Oh, woo! Yeah, that's another <laughs> thing. Those lamps at the above the bomb site are who, who people have been watching, right? On the left is Skadoodle. 
you, those lamps can be used to uh, completely ambush somebody who's coming from what white truck. situation here, and he cannot convert it. That's going to be the round for the CTs. Yeah, those lamps. Let me move here, right there. You could actually boost on those. I, my memory's failing me. Are, is that in the original? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's because I've never been ambushed there. Yeah, I don't think that was there at all. Now that I'm trying to. No, I, I, yeah, you're right. So, back to actual Counter Strike, right? It's 9 6. The Habs have uh, switched. It's, uh, well, how come the swap isn't happening? Custom server commands. I don't know. I'm not sure we'll what have they're to using. Probably a, uh, a switch. So, let's, let's compile our thoughts here. A uh, improved, improved boost box at mid. A trench at B, a completely revamped heaven at mm -hmm. B, no headshot box at A, just a pillar. Yeah. Lamps, rusted lamps that you can ambush people on. And also the uh, oh, the, the the tighter box area in A that you have to commit to if you're CT now, from watching the the halls. Uh, yes, the the stacked tube, yellow tubes at the left yeah. side of uh, A main if you're a CT are now two huge boxes that trap you in if you're a counter terrorist. You really, really have to make that the shot. switch went down, by the way. This is live, I believe. Oh, hey, so let's take a look at the overhead map and take a look at what we're seeing. We're going to see a complete split. This is what you typically get for base sets on a rifle round, of course, for terrorists. Kyre, Squeaky, Glock, main, Skadoodle, mid, and two-man rotating back into uh, mid from dumpster. It's going to be a multi-pronged A take. Skadoodle's not going to uh, chance the, the three-directional take. It's just going to be an A main and Squeaky take. Nothing blows away Glock here in the doorway, and suddenly the rotates have caught them. They're a little bit too slow. If they get into the site too slowly, they're really not going to have a chance. The Skadoodle has all... As all his teammates actually eliminated, it's his only opportunity left to clutch, but he, wow, touchdown. Brett Favre. Right in the lap. <laughs> Team Volcano looking good there, picking up that important pistol round to gain the edge on Cotton the second half. Cotton always saying, look at overhead map, and then the overhead map never comes. It was like right in the middle of when the action was about to start. I'm not going to deprive people of headshots. <laughs> Go ahead, Clay. Go ahead. We are in the SMG round here. CT's buying, of course. Frost gets dinked in the B area. And it's a heavy presence B as Skadoodle goes down. Interesting nade there by Volcano. He must know oh, something that we don't since he designed the map, right? Here we go. Does a man getting a kill? No, nope, trying to get a kill. Can't convert. Volcano goes down, actually. And we're seeing the pinch here from Pex, but he is going the wrong way. I think he heard him. Yes, he is actually. Did he hear him? I think it was just a sound play. He uh, he ran up the that little sawdust pile up to up to vent and then just backed out. Oh no, like... I'm talking about frost. I think he heard frost running through the warehouse there. Oh, and well, then yeah, potentially didn't go through the vent. Yeah. But frosting a fake. Unfortunately, he goes down to Sunman and middle, and that is another round for the counter terrorists. It is 11 to six. Team Volcano over Team Hiko. Yeah, that that lead started to pile up now. And now that we've covered the differences in this map, perhaps we'll get to the Counter-Strike list. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Look at the buy. It's a surprise. Nice. The uh, the entire terrorist team has decided that they're going to outfit themselves. Let's take a look at the money situation. Pull up the tab screen right now. 0, 650, 0, 100, 0. It's a full all-in, and they gave away the fact that they had weapons. Frost took a shot way too early, hoping to surprise a man. And they have Somebody dropped? Nothing. Nothing DC'd. Nothing dropped. Frost gets a one-tap on Sunman. Sunman peeks aggressively. I don't know why you would do that, considering that you just discovered he had an AK, and your, your weapon tier was below him. Two traded out. Three terrorists remaining, the bomb heading back toward B, Frost breaking the vent, and he's going to go plant. So, Pex, left alive. Our clutch man, number three, coming across by the toxic barrels, heading back to mid. Let's take a look right here. No look at that vent. You can still see that head if somebody peeks at the top of that vent, because that vent mouth is always so big, but I don't think Pex noticed it or ventured to take the shot. He's going to get flanked right now if he doesn't play very disciplined. He, that looked painful. He got opt in the leg. And that then, looked painful? <laughs> he got opt in the leg and then deagled through a wall. It was just, what do we say, double team supreme? Double team supreme, yeah. Double team <laughs> if, if you want to go that route. <laughs> oh, man. And now, are the CTs going to be saving here? Pex grabbing an M4. Let's take a look at the rest of the money. And yeah, they're, the rest of them are going to be saving. Unfortunately, nothing dropped in that. You know, that didn't help anyway, losing that round. But... 
let's go here to the action. Terrace are in the B halls here. We got one in the middle warehouse area, waiting for a push most likely, and one over by towards A and the boost box. He is actually moving towards the warehouse, and we're seeing some. Looks like they're going to be trying to take B here, and ooh, there's a nice entry frag by Frost, and the rotation here from Volcano. No call for the rotation from the A guys just yet. Oh, now they're on the way. Oh, now here they come, but they're going to be a little too late. Terrorists are going to get the bomb planted and get in position for these rotates. Oh, nice shot by nothing taking a mirror down. Clocketeer, can he get him? He does. And it is now two versus four for the CTs here. It is going to be a tough clutch here for Dizzy Man and Pex. Pex does have the M4. I think he's going to save it, actually. So one nice thing that I wanted to point out for the, for the people who are looking at our screen and seeing that the backdrop of, uh, of Heaven now at B is no longer completely stark white. It, there is some bleaching right there with like some paint a la the Mirage mid window. I think that's actually a stolen texture from the Mirage mid window. But uh, it's, it doesn't necessarily give away your position very, very badly com considering that the last version of Catch literally it, it was like it was like standing up against a white marble wall. So maybe a little bit less visible there, but uh, if you look straight on at it, there's a little bit of paint. 2-2, two, two. remind me of the score. It's 11-2. Eight. Eight. It's 11-8 to eight in favor of Team Volcano. Yes. Uh, yeah, splits here. 3A. No, excuse me, it's a boost box look. It's going to be a control mid look. Glock is going to probably peak at the same time as Frost. Or Skadoodle, excuse me. Skadoodle's peaked with his op. He's looking at the uh, the A connector box. Two to A main. It looks like they're just working for picks. The base look is a two, as a two mid look. Skadoodle gets taken down by a Thomas, and I don't think Pex knows that there's one more lurking in the area. Did the bomb go down on top of the box? Uh, Did I it... didn't see that. Pull up the overhead map. It should tell you where the bomb is dropped. I think it it's shows it's behind box. by the warehouse over by. Uh, got picked up by Kyra. So Frost entering doesn't get his entry kill at the forklift. Remember, when you enter now, there's no box to hide behind over there. It's uh, it's all you and open space and a f oh well and a forklift. Hiko gets one traded out. Three left, but Hiko not so healthy. They don't. Uh, you know what, they've been here for a while, and they've drawn a full rotate, and if they have, if they have the communication in the game sense, now would be the time you want to pull out and try to try to spread the CTs back down. Volcano and Sunman doing a good job holding their sides so they don't sides their rotation as opposed to, uh, to make sure that nobody cleans up. Well, you know what, they just took, they just took around too long. They just, if they, if they got out of the door and entered, maybe that would have been successful. I think... I think for the most part, if they had uh, if they had spread back out, they had enough time to get the bomb all the way across the other side of the map. Maybe they had a little bit of success there, but no, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's 12, 12 eight. It is 12 to eight for Team Volcano. And looking at the money, the terrorists, uh, two of them were looking short. The other could have probably bought AKs, but they decided to go for a full save here and just take it next round. And we're seeing a push here from Pex and Dizaman in mid. Actually, they're they're backing up here. They're just playing up close, being a little bit of aggressive. And here's Glocketeer. No one's watching A. He gets him with the one dig from the side, and <laughs> Hex takes him down. And they they got the call. They're actually all rotating to A now. They're gonna get that bomb planted. And oh, I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. I didn't see who was whose mistake that was. As nothing shoots Sun Man, but that's all right. And the bomb is planted. The terrorists are, of course, saving still. So they, I mean, they're outgunned. But let's see this retake happening. Would have loved to see the terrorists try to figure out the, the, the fact that the lamps were above them. Wouldn't it have been funny if one of them actually figured out to jump up there? Yeah, it would be. And now it's Frost versus Sunman. Frost is the clutch man. Sunman, only 7 health. He has this. Wait, he could have this. Came out, came out, okay. There it is. Oh, 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 what? oh, he almost missed. There we go. Got him in the leg, and he gets the kill. And another boost that we uh, didn't mention is that red box in the middle of the base that you could actually boost onto that now. Or climb up top. Uh, yeah, previously where there used to be a sign that just said A and that you'd have to crouch jump to get on top of, now there's just a workbench there with like a couple of magazines for SMGs that you can just kind of hop up and immediately get on top of red. But I don't think anyone's going to use that considering that it just kind of puts you at a bad disadvantage. What it does help you to do is cut off the man who is, uh, is kiting you. You know, yeah. if you ever plant the bomb and have somebody kite you and it's really frustrating, you can cut off his position. Uh, we have Dizaman.
boosting over the big box, and he's gonna catch Glock in the back, and he can't convert the kill. The plan completely foiled. Everybody's spraying through that smoke because they have to know that somebody had to boost him on there. They need to run, and they know it. They know it. Uh, the four, uh, four, <laughs> one, one window entry actually by Kyra. That's not an entry. That's a mid kill. Four terrorists moving toward B. Getting the entry on nothing. One man left at the platform. That's Sun Man. He needs to hide and call over for the help. But of course, they're saving, so they can't expect too much help. Volcano and Pex left for an eventual retake. They don't really have an opportunity to save anything because they haven't killed anyone. Volcano looking for the one digs, not converting. Hiko brings him down. The last man, our clutch man, is number three, Pex. He's gonna just go to spawn. I'm thinking he wants the exit kills. P25 ex I mean, P250 yeah. exit kills. Pretty good. You can uh, you can convert them if you land that first headshot and it's close distance. The damage deterioration on P two five zero pretty low. You're gonna actually hit that person and he's gonna go down. Pex no, now yeah, it's very strong everybody. pistol. Moving toward dumpster into main. He's like, where did everyone go? I want to get an exit kill. A bit too late. <laughs> They've already exited. If he gets one really nice shot off, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> <Pex, laughs> he just so, can't catch one. So frustrated right now. Take a look at the money CTs are going to be buying. Not enough money for an op from any of them, unfortunately. And the terrorists, we see Frost with an op. No op on Skadoodle. A little bit surprising there. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the spread. And we see two terrorists going to B, uh, B as three are going in mid. Two are at the, the boost box. So we're seeing a boost here. Uh, why did it go and chase camera mode again? Frost getting shot down here. He missed his off shot and he goes down. I think he died falling. <laughs> Four versus five now. Terrace down one. And they are just trying to figure out what to do here as we see a heavy presence from the CTs in mid. Two actually in the checkers room. Watching that B push. Here we go. Glock tier meeting up with Sun Man. Takes him to 20 health. Can he finish it off? He does. And that is in B. They are going to move over and try to get in this site now with the rotation from middle by Volcano in the vent. He takes one down but goes down by Skadoodle, and here is Pex. Pex is uh is waiting on his teammates for the rotate. He's actually being smart. very patient. Yeah. Yeah. And it is three versus two. Uh, Amir and Hiko here. The last that, line. That smoke is near, not nearly tall enough anymore to get that uh that vent smoked out. No. Yeah. With that patch, it's greatly reduced. And yeah, smokes aren't as powerful as they used to be. Oh, no clutch attempt. What is it? It's 13 to 10 now? Oh, no, yeah, it's yeah. going to be 13 to 10. Yeah, 13 to 10. 13 to 10 in favor of Team Volcano. Of course, the map maker knows his secret, uh, secret passageways. If you uh, do down, down, left, right, up, down, triangle, square, you can open up a map and uh, see where everybody is. Or if you enter that code, you can also find a secret passage under the map. Don't tell anyone I told you that. Coming down to the wire here, it's you know, it's pretty close. I think uh, for the most part, it's a pretty lighthearted match. Things are flowing pretty quickly. I think what we should do is pull our viewers in a little bit and ask them what their thoughts are on the new map. Get, get their sense. I, you know, I, I, the initial the initial pushback that we got on the map was new map. Don't do that. Frost hits the entry kill through smoke, maybe, or maybe the smoke. No, he was on the edge of the smoke. So. The, the pushback was, oh my god, another another redo, don't want Counter-Strike, leave it alone, leave the best maps alone. Cash is one of those maps that every Frost gets another, that's a double for him, and it's, uh, it's, it's very faithful to what it used to be. It's very, very faithful to what it used to be. One man at the forklift doesn't man gets one out traded. He was hoping to get two to make it a little bit more possible for the retake to make it a little bit easier on Pex and Volcano. But Kyre is yeah. going to ambush Pex badly here, so that brings him down. Jesus and Volcano is our only clutch man. Our voice. Yeah, he rushed, picked it, and I can't. <laughs> no clutch attempt <laughs> there. It's 13-11. It's funny hearing the player talk. Oh, okay, 13-11, guys. It is a close match. Team Hiko here coming back on this second half. And let's see, the counter terrorists are going to be stuck in a save round here. We see two ops on the terrorist side, Glocketeer and Frost, with those. Let's see where they get it. They are going to go to get picks. We see Frost heading to mid. He's going to probably go up on a boost box, and Glock here is in B. He's going to be trying to pick that site, but we see a five-man stack here from the CTs in mid. They are going to be aggressive here and push up. Here we go. Here's Skadoodle. Can he get the bit? Nope. Well, just gets mowed down. Sunman now has an AK. And here we go. Glock here turning around. He's actually going to get pinched here. He takes one down. 
Can he get the other one? He takes that one down and the third. No, Volcano gets the Deeg. And that is now 3v3 situation here. Two CTs have guns. And they are rotating around towards A, where the bomb is. Frost taking one down in the middle. And Amir needs to get that bomb planted to get this going. <laughs> Kyra really wants to plant this bomb, and Nico <laughs> just does not care. <laughs> Volcano in mid with an op. And Pex with an AK in at the squeaky door, actually. And the squeaky door opens. Frost is waiting for him. He takes... Oh, nice. wow. That wow. happened quick. And that is now 13-12 for Team Hiko. Almost tied up. I was I was uh, taking a little Sorry. bit of the, the pulse of the chat here. I was going to say that uh, a lot of people are saying, I'm tired of the new maps. I mean, I'm tired of the old maps. I'm tired of remakes. I want new maps. You should check out uh, some of the... Operation Payback map. Seaside was great. A lot of the community is pumping out maps at an alarming pace, and a lot of them are competitively driven. Hopefully, uh, that they'll get the exposure that they need to, to be more popularized. It's just, uh, we have a full-on Kyra sprint through here. He's going to get a double, because Dizaman and Pex had no idea that he was going to sprint through. He breaks the vent, letting B, everybody at B know what's going on. They know, of course, it was, a, it was an eco, but Sunman trades at least one out. Kyra goes down. Both entry kills at B secured, one man left, that's nothing. What I was going to say was, uh, check those maps out. Let Valve know that you love them, and let Valve know that they sh probably should be in the map rotation. Because, uh, you know, Valve is actually, despite what you guys think, very communicative with their community. They know, oh, ow, 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 ow. Glock is here ending that round. It's, uh, isn't it 13-13? Yeah, it's 13-13 now. Quite the comeback here from Team Hiko. And we are on a buy round here for Team Volcano. Let's do that giveaway at the end of this cast. Let's sure. uh, let's do the uh, the Razor Goliath this mouse pad giveaway. Of course, you guys have to be following for that giveaway to actually happen. But uh, we'll take care of that after the end of this round. Hopefully, there's going to be some crazy comeback, some amazing finish that'll drive uh, drive all our viewers to stay, keep them keep them with us as Clay takes us away. Amir pushes once again, but it doesn't pay off for him this time. He goes down to Volcano, and here's almost t almost a TK situation there in the middle. Terrace are boosting over in mid, and they are in the A-halls. So, let's see. Actually, okay, they abandoned the boot. Did they abandon the boost? No, he's actually in the warehouse. Skadoodle going to get caught there by Pex, and the three remaining Terrace are over at A, and they are not looking healthy. Frost they only 14 that health. They open that door to block with the smoke, but given the fact that A, the smoke wall has a has a gap in it, and, and B, they're all standing here, there's no way they're going to be successful here because they've been standing around and made their intentions known so early. Yep, as they pick up Clock and Tear, and now it is looking very good for the counter terrace as there are only two, two T's left. Frost only eight health. He, ooh, nice shot there on the Dizman. That op is piercing through that wall. You see that yeah, barrel peeking through? I do. And he... Did that pierce and kill? It did, okay. I was like, what the hell? Alright, here we go. Nothing. Trying to get this last kill here onto Hiko, but Hiko takes him out through the door. And there he goes. Hiko finally gets pinched and goes down. It is 14 to 13 for Team Volcano. Oh, yeah. Sell your door broke. Then <laughs> door, no, no. Yeah, I think everybody realized that uh, the door wouldn't open. It was literally because both players were trying to open and close it, it literally broke and stopped moving, and uh, the the wall the wall model wasn't thick enough to prevent the off barrel from... Wow, well, Skadoodle crouch picking Dizaman as he tries to get to his A connector spot. Yeah, that that barrel probably... I mean, not the barrel, that wall probably shouldn't let the gun model peek all the way through to let people know that there's somebody on the other side. Of course, it is the first look, and this map is still in development. Volcano gets one, traded out, 1-1. One, one. Hex shooting everybody in the back, and... Uh, actually they didn't hear the one. event break? No, I think it just happened a little bit too quickly, and they were also engaging with somebody at the uh, the BCT entrance. So while they were in the uh, while they were in the checkers room, it just happened a little bit too quickly. Pex got in there sprinting, and he just started shooting it before anyone could actually turn. Let's take a look at the overhead map to see where everybody is. Everybody holding B, nothing patrolling in mid. Kyer coming all the way around. He's going to be our number seven, and he's going to catch somebody in the oh volcano. Oh. Volcano doesn't care. He was at the tree, right? That truck is gone. It's just the tree now. Harder to hide behind, perhaps, but those uh, those I beams there replacing its functionality. 15 13, 15 Volcano. We're at match point here, guys. Ooh. And I think the terrorists. No, they're not saving. We have plenty of money. <laughs> Frost picking up another op. 
And everyone AKs. It looks like Skidoodle is a uh, Galil and Glocketeer actually had to save. He only bought nades and armor. So, let's see what the terrorists are going to do here. Uh, once again, presence in mid and presence towards that boost box. And here comes the boost by. Oh, it's a two man boost. Kyra up and who else the other one? Glocketeer does have an AK, by the way. And here comes Pex. He just try takes one down, but he doesn't know the second guy's there. He does now. Can he get him? Nope. Amir getting t oh, Frost got one. Amir gets one. It is now three versus four. Uh, the CT is down two. Sunman getting killed. It is now even three versus three. And the bomb looks to be going A. And who is that over there? That is nothing in the site. Going to be watching for this as they rotate from Volcan as well. Sunman going to be holding down B by himself. Skadoodle. Trying to get a pick here under nothing. He gets a shot off, but he takes some damage. He actually got a lot the of better, damage. better the trade right there. Nothing uh, trying to take him down, but he is low still. And Hiko gets the kill there. Sunman gets a trade. There goes the kill on Volcano, and there's now one versus two. Let's see if the Sunman can't clutch this. They're going to get the bomb down like here. Little girl this time? Are you, like you did last time? Yes. Yeah, like I did last time. Yes. Here comes Look Skadoodle. Get some shots off. Remember, one in the back of the quads. That quads has a full-on white wall in front of it to make anybody standing in front of it stand out really, really starkly. One behind red, one behind quads. Sunman not really committing to this, though. He really needs to. He's stuck out in the open. He's going to get gunned down. If he, yeah, he gets two people shooting at him at the same time. That was, uh, that was a strange hesitate by him. It was, and we are now 15-14. This game just will not end. These guys are being resilient. Let's take Stick. a look at the money. Stick around after this. We have a giveaway. Perhaps we can talk to uh, talk to the Go Show and ask them their thoughts about how the match went, how the map plays, all that sort of thing. We actually want to hear your opinion about how the map plays. Smoke's coming over the top. Actually, a decoy coming over the top, landing in a bad spot, letting everybody know that uh, the decoy is there. Of course, it could be the decoy that is the reverse psychology decoy. You know, you throw the decoy and you, you get counter terrorists moving away from it, then you actually go toward where the decoy is. It's uh, it's a, it's an advanced meta play, but of course, I don't think they're thinking too deeply into that. Sunman smokes out the uh, the mid door, and finally the encounter happens. Glocketeer gets a four burst on the Sunman, who was peeking out out of the mid doors. That mid lane opened, except this man now playing the cage. That is not a cage anymore. There is no cage there. There is no cage there. As we see fire going down in the A site, and ooh, trade there going down. Nothing takes Glock a tier, and Skadoodle gets Dismount to Skadoodle. Skadoodle's actually going to go down. No, he doesn't. There. So he's uh, he's down to one health, one counter terrorist coming out to mid, trying to find Skadoodle, who's probably typically going to come back and engage because the op doesn't really get penalized for having low health. You're just going to have to work with it. Nothing gets a door piercing headshot. Another entry, uh, defensive entry kill for him. Volcano translates one at the headshot box that is no longer a headshot box and the forklift man goes down. Can this game? That's game. Oh, Team right. Volcano triumphs 16-14. Um, it's not, it's not about the map, right? Today's not a, I mean, it's not about the game. Today's not about the game. It's about the map. So what are our thoughts? The map remains largely the same. It's it's beautiful. The textures are really, really nice. It runs smoothly. There are some tactical changes, very small changes in terms of heights of boxes and shapes of boxes and uh, and maybe one or two extra hidey spots. But it's, it's very faithful, don't you think? Yeah. No. Uh, very slight changes. I think the changes are for the better. Um, it, you know, as we said, the boost box in the middle, uh, it's better in favor for the terrace there. Uh, heaven and CT spawn better in favor for the CTs. So I mean, all changes are good in, in my opinion. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was so cool. We have a giveaway to do, don't we? We do. A uh, a free Razor Goliath this mouse pad to anybody who <laughs> finally. Gives us finally. Oh, that's all I stood around for. Hey, few. Welcome to the cast. Long time. Long time coming because we've been uh, we've been wanting to talk to him for a while. Hey, you know what? Coming up soon is Tuscan. We want to preview that map as well. But let's let's get to this uh, let's get to this giveaway. Do you have a keyword in mind? Um, let's just make it FXN. All right, I'm okay with that. Let's uh, remember the rules here. You must be a follower. 
and then we'll do the raffle. Yeah, FXN is your keyword. FXN all caps. Send it in. Did I miss everything? Yeah, and Phil L Infinity, who is uh, one of our regular viewers, we saw a new version of DE Cash. Team Volcano took on Team Hiko. Volcano used his uh, map creator cheats and won somehow. We'll give this 30 seconds, you think, Clay? Yeah, uh, well, let's see. Just talk. Entertain people. Let him let him get it going. <sighs> I, uh, yeah. I think that we are in for some real good surprises. I've, I've heard good things about Tuscan. We just saw a good cash. We have great events coming up for Counter-Strike. Specifically, the ESEA LAN playoffs, the SIBO playoffs, a pretty big SIBO tournament. Those of you who are thinking CS is uh, is undergoing transformative stages for the worse, I think you you think you think you'd be a little bit uh, apprehensive about your thoughts there. I think they'd be wrong. I think they'd be outright wrong. There are some really really fun things Fixation TV will bring it to you. You of course have been watching Fixation TV. I am caught in my partner's clops in the raffle. Is just about done, don't you think? Uh, yeah, if you want to call it, we could do it. Press the button. Let's roll those dice. Get in, say the keyword if you're not in yet. Come on, guys, I'm gonna hit it. Three, two, one, go. Infinity, one, three, three, seven. Lead. Oh my god! He just came in at the end of the thing, he missed the entire program. He was like, oh, I'm just gonna do this <laughs> raffle. <laughs> L Infinity, you reach out to SLE Nerve, our community manager. Is he Nerve even here? I hope he yeah, is. Yeah, I think he is. If not, you can reach us at fixationtv at gmail.com. Give us your relative information about, you know, your social security number and your credit card numbers and, yeah, and your address so we can give you this Razor Goliath as mouth pad. We have other giveaways coming up, right? Fixation gear. Fixation yeah. TV gear. Eventually. A little, little ways away, but yes, it's coming up. You mentioned his name... Uh, on the stream and he wins it. Yeah, I, uh, I, that's a crazy coincidence. Promise not rigged. So, coming up this weekend, an ESEAM match, right? <laughs> Savage versus PsyOps. Yep, that uh, is tomorrow. And uh, let me see here. I just want to get the time correct. It is at 10.30 p.m. Central Time. And then uh, Monday, we got Sivo Main Afterlife versus Precise. Rigged, no coincidence. I promise you, knowledge of the actual thing that you win has nothing to do with this. It was completely random. Yes, Afterlife versus Precise on mm -hmm. Monday, that's a SIBO M match. On ESEA, the ESEA match? On Sunday, right, right. That's, uh, that's the last match of the regular season, I believe, for them. Awesome. And then, yeah, sweet. So that means playoffs coming up. All right. Hey, pretty, uh, pretty good impromptu cast there, Clay. No prep. Jump in. Do the things. You were on fire today. I was I was chugging a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, guys, we appreciate you stopping by for the preview of the new DE Cash. If you guys liked what you saw, give us a follow on Twitch. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Um, our YouTube is below on the Twitch channel if you want to check out our past broadcasts as well. Sign off? Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, once again, uh, I am Klops or Clay, and this is Cotton here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that guy. That guy, Cotton. The guy who's always upbeat. Yeah, uh, we are Fixation TV, and we hope you guys enjoyed watching. Have a good night, everybody. See you Sunday.